the theme of today's climate march and rally, as well as the theme across the country, is to change everything, we need everyone. And that means that no matter what the color of your skin, no matter what you own or how much you make, whether you're old or young, and whether your mind or body present you with challenges, as we all do, as we all have, we need you. So let's just have a little more applause for yourselves for being here. This is a great group, but we need to make it bigger. Yes. 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 So last weekend, there was the Science March. And like this one, that was a, a national event with the big one happening in D.C. and hundreds of other rallies happening around the country. So it's wonderful to be standing here today knowing that in time and in spirit we're with so many others standing up for climate action. It's great to see that Rochester is strongly participating in that. As one of my heroes, Bill McKibben, who's one of the leaders of the climate movement said, Last week, the Science March was about what the problem is, and today, the Climate March is about what are we going to do about it. Yeah. Yeah. So, we understand the problem. The problem is that humans are burning fossil fuels, and it's putting carbon dioxide into the air, and it's causing average global temperatures to rise, sea levels to rise, and here in Rochester, we have the wonderful trend of fiercer storms, including massive downpours that cause flooding and windstorms. We've seen it, and that's the trend. But we're going to focus today on what can we do about it. So I'm going to ask you seriously, what do you do? And if some of you want to just shout out what you do, that would be great. Okay, save water. Less meat. Drive a hybrid. Drive a hybrid. Organic farming. Walk. Ride a bus. So drive less, use less gas. Ride bicycles. Great. We're gonna hear more about bicycles today. Go solar. Go test. lives, but we also need to press for cultural change coming from above. So lobbying Congress is a big one. Do any of you have a wind turbine in your house? Nope. Anybody have geothermal heating? Okay, a few. School is. Anybody have solar on your roof? Woo! What about anybody uh, participating in a local community solar installation? Yeah. Okay, great. Sun Common is here and they can tell you how to do that if you can't put solar on your roof. What about, has anybody chosen through RG&E a renewable energy supplier? Woo! Right. At, I see maybe 10% at most of folks have done it. Anybody can do it but a lot of people don't know that you can do it. And the fact is that if you did, most of those suppliers are more expensive. So what if, and again, this is under the guise of what can we do, what if it were possible without you doing anything, by default, for everyone to just have electricity that was generated from renewable energy? So it turns out that there actually is a program that enables that. It's working elsewhere. It's working in some other states in the country, and it's working in just a couple other places in New York State. It enables every home and small business that participates 
to get their electricity from renewable energy and it's less expensive than current market rates. Woo! Woo! In order to participate in this program, the law says that it has to be cheaper than current market Woo! rates. Woo! So that's pretty good, but it sounds a little too good to be true, right? So how do they make that work? So the way it works is it's kind of like a buying club. Instead of everybody choosing for themselves their own household from that big list that RG and E gives you, every home and every small business in the municipality that's participating, their energy is bundled together to create a large bulk bit of demand for renewable energy. And just like in a buying club, it enables you to negotiate cheaper rates. But that's not all. This program also allows you to use that power, the power of having such aggregated demand, to do other things, like negotiate for partial or all renewable energy, such that the source of your electricity is generated by renewable energy. It also negotiate allows you to negotiate in the requirement that over time, instead of buying their renewable energy, we are going to generate our own in our own community. Woo! Yes! If we did that, if we had our own neighborhood-sized or city-sized, let's say, solar farms that generated energy, that would also create jobs. Ownership. It could be done as a co-op so that the folks in the neighborhoods own it. So that's, re that's energy independence and it's renewable energy independence. So that, that program, that program that was legalized in New York State a couple years ago is called Community Choice Aggregation. It's not a sexy name. It's not a memorable name. Community Choice Aggregation. We call it CCA. So can that be done here? Can that be done here? So that's a question. And, and we at Rochester People's Climate Coalition and many of our members would say, it could be, and that in fact the groundwork has been laid. Yeah. Woo. Yes. The city, under Mayor Warren's leadership, yes. has already developed a climate action plan. Woo. The climate action plan sets carbon reduction targets and includes ideas for how we might meet these targets and in fact mentions that CCA might be a viable way of doing it. So Mayor Warren and City Council and the Office of Energy and Sustainability are aware of this program. Right. And are, are you interested? Yeah. 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 Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Mayor Warren. So our request for you today as you spend time here today is to learn more about this CCA Community Choice Aggregation Program. Go over to the Rochester People's Climate Coalition table. You can tell it because it has a big balloon above it. Learn more about it and we've got postcards for you to sign saying that you support it so that we can have tangible evidence of community support that we can submit to the city and also to other municipalities that have expressed interest. So find the table. There will also be volunteers walking around today with postcards for you to sign in the crowd. Just give the postcards back and we will make sure that they get to your representatives. Okay, let's hear from Mayor Warren and then a few other esteemed members of the community. Thank you for being here, Mayor Warren. 
Rochester! Thank you all for coming. Thank you for fighting for our planet. Thank you for fighting for our children. And I am here to tell you that climate change is real. You know, a couple months ago, we had a major windstorm followed by a snowstorm followed by a rainstorm. Climate change is real. And Rochester is on the front lines of that fight to, to let our federal government know that they need to join with us to protect our Mother Earth. They need to make sure that they put in laws and legislation that protects our water, that protects our climate. Will you join with me? We are fortunate in New York State to have a governor who also believes in science, who also knows that climate change is real. And so he's been helping Rochester as we fight for a more sustainable city, a sustainable Rochester. We have installed two dozen electrical vehicle charging stations across our city, and we will install more. We installed solar panels at the Rochester Public Market, and we will install more on our buildings. We are helping our residents install solar panel on their roofs, on their houses, and we're using LED lighting across our city. We adopted single stream recycling and we know that a lot of people are using it. We thank you for that. We're building green infrastructure like green parking lots and green streets. We even have a green roof at City Hall. And next week, I hope that you'll all join us as we break ground on a new solar farm at the old Emerson Street landfill. We are protecting our climate to join with you in this fight to get everyone to understand that climate change is real. We must do everything that we can to protect our environment. I thank the organizers of this event. Please call your congressional representatives, call your state representatives, let them know what we are facing here in Rochester, and let them know that your mayor and your city stands with you as we fight to protect our climate. Yeah.